showed up. Dutch Savage. Where was he when I needed him? <laughs> I've never seen anything like that happen in the crow's nest before. And uh, I've been up here many times. The years passed for Frank. And uh, of course now, that's just, uh, that's, that's so, that's so vicious. And so uncalled for. The sport doesn't need anything like that. Well, there's Kurt Hennig and Rip Oliver right into that turnbuckle. Another time, yeah. The right forearm. Now he's going to whip him into the other. Oh, that a, oh. The entire ring move. Kurt Hennig went to uh, nail Oliver, and he, he got nailed himself. The left forearm over by the assassin. I think the assassin and Rip Oliver have some blood on them, but that's the blood of Buddy Rose. I saw those guys approaching the ring, and I knew something on the, the crow's nest. I knew something was going to happen. I didn't know it was going to be anything like that. I didn't even see the dynamite kit at first. The right hand by Kurt Hennig, another one, and the assassin puts him down. If you tuned in late, this is our main event. Our main event got started a little early tonight. This is a championship match. Tag team, Northwest Tag Team Championship match. First fall was won by Rip Oliver and the assassin. Here comes Rip Oliver down right on shoulder and back of the neck of Kurt Hennig. Kurt trying to make the tag on Billy Jack. Didn't quite make it. I've never seen anybody like the clan enjoy enjoy hurting somebody the way they do. They were having their time of their lives up here at the expense of uh, Buddy Rose. Cliff Oliver with a hammerlock applied to Kurt Hennig. Did you see what, ha what happened up Hi, there? Hi, John. Hi, Don. How you doing? Well, I was doing pretty good. I couldn't believe my eyes. Uh, Rose comes stumbling back in the dressing room I'd just gotten here. Bleeding like a stuck hog. He really got cut up pretty badly by the the clan there by the looks of it i didn't actually see what happened i didn't get a chance to go in and watch the monitor for that fall you're gonna have to reiterate for the fans for me there's a go behind by kurt hunting a oh, for a pin no, one he's got two it. no no not quite we got a two count and oliver just barely made it everybody in the building thought the match was over i thought it i thought it was that fall was gone i thought it was Boy, we got a packed house tonight. The assassin's in the ring, takes a shot at Kurt Henning. Takes a big right hand of Billy Jack, just wiped it off of his chest and took a swing at the assassin. Here we go. This thing has been unreal. Absolutely unreal, Dutch. We I've, never, I've never seen anything happen up here in the Crow's Nest like what just happened. It, uh, things are happening. Uh, the clan is breaking up into small pieces. Buddy Rhodes is having second, second thoughts about his lifestyle, I think. All the years of him hammering away on people, I think maybe somebody softened his heart. It's, well, it's amazing it. to me, uh, the double crossing that Oliver did and a few other things happened back east to him here not too long ago. I think he's having second thoughts about the company he's keeping. Well, I'd have second thoughts about keeping any kind of company after that. They softened his head out here. Right, right. they did a number on him. Buddy was lacerated very badly, but he, he was more mad than he was anything else when I saw him. I tried to talk to him. He was on the on the floor there. He. How'd you feel if somebody uh, dumped you like that? You want me to show you how it feels? No, no, no. And I wouldn't feel like talking either. Right? Okay. 
We're being directed tonight by Larry Neat, because Larry is neat. <laughs> All right. There goes Rip Oliver. Top rope. He's going to the top rope. Oh! <laughs> Henning moves away. Henning jumped out of the way, had enough presence of mind to roll out of the way. Rip Oliver stung that right kneecap. He made the tag. Here comes Billy Jack. Look out. Look at this. Jack is beside himself. There's a big elbow oh. smash. Upside down goes Oliver. Billy drops the knee on him. Small packages and the assassin comes in. Breaks oh. the count. Assassin. Did a number on Jack that time. I thought we had a fall. There's yeah. a try for a backbreaker by Billy Jack. Throws him down like yesterday's garbage. That's Big elbow do it. smash. That's got to do it. One. Oh, you darn. The right hand. Oh, oh, there you go. Come on. Facing the camera. Oliver very wisely with his back to the camera. Away from Sandy Bar. With his face to the camera. Away from Sandy Bar. Stuck a thumb in Billy Jack's throat. That'll stop anybody. You young kids at home, don't try that on your boyfriends or girlfriends. Don't do it at all. It's a professional move. It's for professional athletes. Don't try it on anybody. We don't advise it. It's an illegal move as it is. You know, I think Rip Oliver just about had his knee put up into his shoulder. They got a left-handed front face lock by the big mass man. Billy Jack's going to have to take the, bar the barn to the horse by the look of it, not to the horse to the barn. And there he does Look it. Look at that. Backbreaker by Billy Jack. Billy's That's still hurting. Stung the assassin. Oh, Headbutt head by the assassin. Well, we're going to have fireworks here tonight, folks. Buddy, Buddy Rose has just been hurt by the Klan. Yeah, I think He's the 4th of July is going to come early. He's been cut up. You're right. Fireworks unpersonified. Double teaming by Oliver and the Assassin. That's why they're the champion, folks. You may not like their modus of operandi, their method, but you must admit it produces results. Elbow no. by Oliver. They're really working over Billy Jack. They look at Billy's really dazed out there. Here comes Rip Oliver again. He's going to go for a suplex. Oh, boy. He caught a little of that himself.